In this lesson, we'll take a look at isomeric structures and resonance structures, identifying the difference between the two. We'll first take a look at isomeric structures. Structures that are isomers of each other have the same molecular formula, but different spatial arrangements. This means the atoms within the molecule are in different locations. Let's look at CO2 as an example. The first isomer of carbon dioxide is the one we commonly see. Carbon is the central atom, and it's bonded to two oxygens, one on each side. A second isomer of carbon dioxide can look like this. In this structure, one of the oxygens is our central atom, and it has a carbon bonded to one end and an oxygen bonded to the other. These two structures are different compounds with different physical properties. For one isomer to convert into the other, bonds would have to be broken down and formed. Resonance structures, on the other hand, are compounds that have the same spatial arrangement, but a different distribution of electrons among the atoms. We'll look at CO2 again as an example. Our first structure will again be carbon in the center with double bonds with both oxygen atoms. A resonance structure of this can look like this or this. The carbon can be triple bonded to one oxygen and singly bonded to the other. As we can see here, the atoms are always in the same spots and it's just the electrons that are alternating their distribution. Double-headed arrows are placed between resonance structures to show that for a given arrangement of atoms, there's a variety of possible electron arrangements. The true electron arrangement is a weighted average of all its possible structures. Now to determine which isomers and which resonance structures are most important, we look at the formal charges of each atom in the compound. The formal charge of each atom is determined by taking the number of valence electrons the atom brings to the compound and subtracting the number of electrons the atom owns in the compound. Each atom fully owns its non-bonding pairs of electrons and owns half of its bonding electrons. The most important structures have the lowest formal charges on its atoms, such as zero, negative one, or positive one. Any structures with formal charges higher than this are usually not important. Let's look at our two isomeric structures of CO2. In our first isomer, both oxygens have formal charges of zero, as they both brought six valence electrons and now both own six electrons in the compound. Similarly, carbon also has a formal charge of zero, as it brought four valence electrons and now owns four electrons in the compound. In our second isomer, our carbon once again brought four valence electrons, but it now owns six electrons in the compound. This gives it a formal charge of negative two. Our central oxygen brought six valence electrons, but now only owns four, giving it a formal charge of positive two. Lastly, our second oxygen brought six valence electrons and owns six, giving it a formal charge of zero. We can see that our second isomer has much larger formal charges, meaning it's not nearly as important as our first isomer. Note the formal charges always add up to the overall charge of the molecule. To finish off, we'll look at the formal charges of the resonance structures of CO2. From our previous calculation, we know that in our first structure, the formal charges on all atoms are zero. In our second structure, our first oxygen brings six valence electrons and owns seven, giving it a formal charge of negative one. Carbon brings four and owns four, giving it a charge of zero. Our second oxygen brought six and owns five, giving it a formal charge of positive one. The charges in our third structure will be very similar to our second structure. The first oxygen will have a charge of positive one, carbon will have a charge of zero, and our third oxygen will have a charge of negative one. Once again, our first structure has the lowest formal charges. This means it contributes most to the true structure of the compound. Our second and third structure will contribute less than the first, but they are equivalent to each other and will contribute equally.